Okay, this is a quick video to show you how you can use VS Code uh, to write Bash scripts that you can put on the CiderMill server. Now keep in mind, this is just an additional tool you can use. Some of you might like it, some of you might not like it. Um, I did some of my videos using it, but um, you can always use Vim. Okay, so if you want to, just, just use Vim. Uh, or if this doesn't work out for you, then just use Vim. All right, so I'm just giving you another, another option. A couple of my videos I use this with, and so I wanted you to see how to hook it up. All right, so what you do is you just go to the Visual Studio site, which is code.visualstudio.com, and you download it. It's, it's free, and it's good for, it's cross-platform, all right? And uh, then once you do that, once you have it installed, you're going to have a screen that might look something like this. They might have some text in here, like, welcome to Visual Studio Code or whatever, but basically you have a screen like this. And what you're going to want to do is you want to create a directory on your local machine um, where you're going to put all your scripts. So, for example, I'm going to have this one in my local directory called Bash Scripts. All right, it doesn't matter really where you put it. So when I uh, when I go into Visual Studio Code, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, Open Folder. I'm going to go to that Bash Scripts folder right there, select that, and then click Select Folder. And what that will do is it will put me into the Bash Scripts folder. Now there's nothing in that folder right now, so it it isn't going to show anything. Now the other thing is, that you want to do is you click on extensions right here. And if you enter SFTP, like I have entered here, you want to select what will probably be the second one. Uh, it's this one right here. I'm not really sure how to pronounce this guy's login, but it's Nazi Skunk or something like that. But anyway, this is one you want to select. And you just click the install button. I've already installed it, so I don't have one. But you'll have an install button right here. You want to... Um, install this little SFTP program right here. And then you just go up to uh, where the, it's called Explore, just where the file over the file is right there. Click in your screen here. And what you want to do is you want to do Control Shift P. And that will bring up this little dialog. And if you just start typing SFTP in like that, you'll, you'll have it or uh, it'll be the first one. But anyway, you're looking for SFTP colon config. Just click on that. And it's going to create a little folder for you called um, VS Code. And you just enter in your information. There's your VS Code folder. Didn't see it. Okay, so you just enter in. Now, your name can be anything. I'll just write, you know, Spider Mill. Doesn't really matter. Your host is going to be the server that you're going to be putting this stuff on, which is going to be, of course, cidermill.wccnet.edu, just like that. It'll be SFTP, it'll be port 22. Your username is going to be the username that you log in with. Mine is that shape, or yours will probably be that folder name. And then for the remote path, here's what I suggest. Go to Terminal, New Terminal, log in to your to the CiderMill server. So SSH. Okay, and if you look at, um, I have, I create a folder on my directory called Bash Scripts. See, it's right there. So I'm going to go into that. So I'm going to go into um, and Bash Scripts, and then I'm going to do PWD, and that's going to give me my path from the root to where that folder is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it right here. And make sure that you don't have two forward slashes in front. Okay. Now, what this will do is every time I put a, uh, I create a folder in here or a file in here, I should say, or a folder doesn't matter. But if I create a file in here and I save it, it's going to automatically put it inside my Bash scripts on my server. Okay, that's kind of what I want it to do, and we'll verify that here. So you can clear the screen here, and let's go ahead and save this file right here. All right, so I've got that done. Now what I want to do is just create a one one quick file just to um, test everything. So I just kind of click out in this window somewhere, click here to add a file, and I'm going to call this test.sh, okay, for a shell file. And then um, we're going to go ahead and type in um, the uh, the bin bash, and of course that's right out of the book that we have right here. Just in case you, it's listed numerous times, all right. So we'll just uh, just do that right there. And then I'm going to write, I'm just going to write echo test. Okay, something like that. So when I run this file, uh, test is going to show up in the um, output window. 
All right, so when I save that, it's gonna ask me for my password. It's only gonna do this um, once per session, or if you wait too long between times, and sometimes it times out and it does it. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now that's been saved, it's been uploaded to the server. So if I go in here and I look, there's the test file right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, give that file the um, permissions that I want. I don't want anyone else to execute it, just me. So I'll just do uh, 700 test sh, okay. And then to run the file, I just go dot forward slash test sh, and there it says test. So again, this is one way that you can um, work with your scripts instead of using uh, Vim, but it's up to you. Uh, if you really have a hard time and this isn't working and things like that, just go on to Vim, okay? Um, I'm not gonna be diagnosing this for anyone, just, just go on to Vim and work it off of there, because you know that that will work. This is just another tool. Okay, that's it.